New at 6, the state Supreme Court took up a heated issue today. They heard arguments over the state's voter ID requirement. Lacey Crisp explains why this issue is so important to one person who showed up today. The Supreme Court justices grilled attorneys from both sides today. The justices will now decide if the voter ID law prevents people from voting or if it prevents fraud. Why was it important for you to come today? Because I went through hell and high water. It took Rosie Carradine Lewis a year and $150 to get her birth certificate from Arkansas to make sure she had the right paperwork for Wisconsin's voter ID law. She listened as attorneys from both sides pled their case in front of the state Supreme Court. This law is not an additional voting qualification. Instead, it is a law that allows a voter to demonstrate his or her identity. Zero is the number of times a person in Wisconsin has been arrested, prosecuted, or convicted for the only type of vote fraud that would be prevented or deterred by Act 23. The voter ID law was in place for just one election in February 2012 before it was blocked by a court order. Plaintiffs argued the law will make it impossible for some to vote and that the legislature doesn't have the authority to pass the law. But the state contends without the law, it would be easy to commit voter fraud. For someone to walk in, state your name and address, sign the poll book, and impersonate you. In addition to the two cases the Supreme Court heard today, there are two federal lawsuits pending against the voter ID. ID law. The voter ID law would have to overcome all four cases in order to be put back into law. Reporting from the Capitol, Lacey Crisp, today's Team J4. Yeah, it's going to be a while before the justices yeah, make a decision. Definitely, I'm yeah. on that one.